God bless you. Thank you for joining me. So we are going to spend some time talking about repentance and forgiveness and restoration. I don't know how many videos this will be, but thank you for being here. So to repent, to be sorry, to pity, rue, to turn back, to return, to regret, reconsider, irrevocable reversal. So we see here that you have to do something different. If you used to be, for example, a liar, a stealer, an adulterer, etc., you can't truly be repentant if you continue in those behaviors. So, of course, we're all sinners. Of course, we're all saved by grace. But to have true repentance, you have to turn back, to return, irrevocable, reversal. You have to do something different. If you continue to lie or steal or cheat, you're not really repentant because your behavior has not changed. So we're going to look at some examples here in scripture of some things that happened in the Old Testament. So in Genesis 32, we start to see that Jacob is going to send presents to appease Esau. And so you know the whole birthright story. Um, when we get to Genesis 33, this is now when they're going to meet. So it says this in 33 verse 1. Now Jacob looked up and saw Esau coming and 400 men with him. So he divided the children among Leah and Rachel and the two maids. He put the maids with their children in front, then Leah and her children and Rachel and Joseph last of all. He himself went on ahead of them, bowing himself to the ground seven times until he came near his brother. But Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him and they wept. So Jacob sees, here's Esau with 400 guys and he puts his children behind him. He comes out to him, bowing to the ground seven times. So we see here that Jacob knows what he has done is wrong, and he's making this physical act in repentance to show physically this was wrong, and he's displaying that. All right, I want to go to... First Chronicles chapter 21, and starting in verse, t verse 18, it says this, Then the angel of the Lord commanded Gad to tell David that he should go up and erect an altar to the Lord on the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite. Okay, so it goes on to say that David said to Ornan, Give me the site of the threshing floor that I may build on it an altar to the Lord. Give it to me at full price so that so that the plague may be averted from the people. So David has to build this altar. He's willing to buy this at full price, but Ornan says, you can just take it basically. He says, I present the oxen for burnt offerings and the thresh threshing sledges for the wood and the wheat for a grain offering, I give it all. But King David says to him, no, I will buy them for full price. I will not take for the Lord what is yours, nor offer burnt offerings that cost me nothing. So David pays Ornan 600 shekels of gold by weight for the site, and he builds this altar to the Lord to present these burnt offerings and offerings of well-being. So David recognizes this has to cost me something. I can't just get this without giving something. So David was instructed to build an altar and it says so that the plague may be averted from the people and Ornan wants to give it to him but David says nope I cannot I cannot take for the Lord what is yours nor offer burnt offerings that cost me nothing so David pays the altar gets built now it is we're almost at five minutes, so we're going to pick up tomorrow with some other examples of Old Testament ways in which repentance is shown as we start this series. Armor up, we write at dawn. May God bless you as always. Have a great day.